you probably tried to imitate other people's routines, failed and gave up. There are so many influencers, book writers and even marine seals out there saying what we should do to improve our productivity or health. But in most cases, we'll fail and give up. Examples. Sleeping 4 hours a day is enough. Do intermittent fasting, skipping breakfast. The best time to work out is in the early morning. Well, I will explain why it doesn't work, how to find out our clock type and shape our routines to our potential. So, let's go. We are not all the same, so we should not even compare or copy ourselves, but adapt us to our own genetics, energy or style, whatever you want to call it. And a very important aspect that differentiates humans is the biological clock type or chronotype. And the chronotype influences everything, from what time I tend to go to bed, what time I prefer to get up, what time of the day is better for me to eat, how many times a day I eat, when is better to do sports, when my productivity is better or even habits and addictions. Treating people equally in work shifts can reduce the productivity and health of those who do not fit in. Treating children as if they were clones of ourselves can lead to serious trauma or monumental failures. No, we are neither clones nor sheep. Yeah. So, if you are a dictator, there is still time to learn and change. If you are a victim, share this video with that person. This knowledge can also improve your relationship with your partner, as you can understand him or her better. Chronotype is our genetically predetermined sleep schedule. So, we all born with our own chronotype. As we born with an eye and hair color, but isn't as fixed as color because it's influenced by some factors as latitude, sun exposure, age and even sex. Teenagers tend to be later chronotypes than children and elderly people, and women are generally earlier chronotypes than men. The place where you live also affects your chronotype. Example, an intermediate chronotype of an urban population would be classified as a moderately late type in a rural population. But if a person were to move from the city to live in the countryside, his or her chronotype would advance due to the more exposure to outdoor light during the day and less exposure to artificial light at night. Also, chronotype in its definition seems to be only related to the sleep patterns. In fact, it influences the entire function of the body and mind and is closely related to the circadian rhythm that is the 24-hour cycle. Scientists usually describe two chronotypes, morningness or early birds and eveningness or night howls. Morningness is the early chronotype. People that born this way wake up early naturally, like to go early to sleep, love a nice breakfast more than a big dinner, tend to be very disciplinated, morning workers, full of energy in the morning go to the gym early morning. They are also called early birds. Kids and hellers tend to be early birds, but not all are. With age, we tend to shift at least slightly to morningness. If you are a early bird and you want to do intermittent fasting, skipping dinner is the best option for you. The best diet plan or diet strategy, it is a king or queen breakfast, prince or princess, lunch and a poor dinner. Exercise is also better in the morning as it is studying 
or do other mentally demanding tasks as meetings, presentations, surgeries, or maybe recording a video. Harley birds tend to deal worse with coffee, drugs, or alcohol. It's very easy for them to have super healthy habits. Heveniness is the later chronotype. People that born this way wake up late naturally. They go to sleep late as well. They're prone to wake up without angry, even little kids, and love a good dinner. Tend to be more creative, evening and night workers. More productive in the night. Go to the gym before dinner time. They are also called night owls. Teenagers tend to be night owls. Men are more prone than women as well. If you are a night owl if you, and you want to do intermittent fasting, then skipping breakfast is a better option for you. The best diet plan for you is also poor breakfast, moderate lunch and a good dinner. But watch out, the digestive system has its own clock that must be respected. The digestive system uh, or digestive tract has a daytime shift. That means that eating late hours can make you feel like crap next day. Exercise is also better afternoon. And afternoon or night are better for studying or do other mentally demanding tasks. Night holes tend to deal better with coffee than early birds, but they also tend to love alcohol and drugs. For obvious reasons, night owls have more difficulty adapting to standard routines. When the night owl chronotype comes into conflict with the demands of the schedule, we call it social jet lag, very common in teenagers and young adults. Trying to reconcile their natural lifestyle with school or work can cause a lack of energy and other disorders. As I said before, science described two main chronotypes, morningness or early birds and eveningness or night owls. But some people feel they don't fit on these two chronotypes and some feel they are, they are between chronotypes, spectrum or have characteristics or both by model. Because of it, Dr. Michael Bruce, a clinical psychologist and author of The Power of When, subdivided the four chronotypes in the lion, the bear, the wolf and the dolphin. Lion, they are early birds and makes up 15% of population. They wake up early and bury to bed early. They are not keen to social nightlife are more productive in the morning, losing energy afternoon. They should do deep work in the morning and light work afternoon. Breakfast is the most important meal and like dinner early. Best time to exercise is early in the morning. If they need to be awake till late, then it's better to work out later in the day. They are excellent executors. They are usually CEOs, operational manager, trainers and farmers. Bear is an intermediate chronotype, makes up about 55% of the population. They do well with traditional office shift because they are more productive in midday but also have no problem maintaining a social life in the evenings. They have problems keeping with exercise schedules, so Having several sports and random schedules is important. They should eat small portions along the day or three good meals, but each bear should listen its own body and adapt to himself. The best time to fast may be at night. Wolves. They are night wolves and represent approximately 15% of the population. They are creatives. They are more productive at night. They don't like breakfast and prefer to dinner late. They like to practice sports later in the day. Nevertheless, it's good for them to give a walk in the morning before going to work, preferably in the nature. Morning mood. They need their time and space to wake up before interacting with other people, so leave them alone 
and respect their morning mood. They are creators. They are usually designers, programmers, scientists, artists. If they need or want to breakfast, it's better a protein light meal and avoid sugar and refined carbs. Example, scramble eggs with some fruit. If you eat too much, you may screw your morning energy. Dolphin. They are night owls and represent approximately 10% of the population. They are light sleepers. They like to wake up early. They work better between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. They tend to suffer from nighttime anxiety. They should do mindfulness or meditation to reduce their anxiety and be able to control their mind. They should exercise after wake up like a walk in the park, followed by meditation and a breakfast similar to the wolves. At night, they should avoid screens and blue lights at least one hour before bed. Reading a book is a good option. If you are confused about your chronotype, take Dr. Michael Bruce quiz. I'll leave the link in the description below. The better way to achieve good health, physical performance, study or work is to match one chronotype with daily routines. But for those who must adhere to a routine that is different from its own chronotype, controlling sleep habits is crucial to avoid insomnia, tiredness, depression, or even hypertension, diabetes, and obesity. Yes, living desynchronized from our chronotype can make us fat, depressed, and procrastinated. For better results, it's always better to shape our work shift, exercise, study, and meal routines to our own chronotype, rather than forcing ourselves the other way around. Also, chronotype has a genetic component is not a fixed trait. Yes, it is possible to force it for a while, but we always tend to return to our genetic pattern. Forcing against our will can make us mentally and physically sick. It must always be one's choice as self-motivation is very important here and always with slight adjustments at a time. The place where we live, whether it's in the city or on the countryside, latitude, sun exposure and weather also influence the chronotype. Living close to the nature and close to the tropics favor a natural early morningness chronotype. I am a wolf. But I decided to adapt myself to a morningness chronotype for work and personal reasons. And because I fell in love with the sunrise and morning meditations. I religiously go to bed between 11 pm and midnight to help my melatonin and core body temperature regulation to force myself into this chronotype. I can work in the morning and afternoon. I try to do sports at 7 a.m. and I manage it, but I still prefer to do it at sunset. In the morning, I prefer to walk. Despite being in the morningness chronotype, I'm still not angry in the morning. And some days I can be practical all day without eating, but dinner is still my favorite meal. A light dinner will depress me quickly. And my best ideas and insights still occurs at night. So I could change part of it, of my chronotype, but not all. And if I left my guard down, I easily go to bed after midnight and desynchronize my central clock. So knowing all of this about chronotypes and how it affects our health and performance, it should be yet another argument why we should respect others the way they are and help others to achieve their full potential instead of trying to shape others to our own beliefs and roles. 
I hope you liked this video. See you in the next one.